Hello everybody, welcome to another part in the Remaking Door series. Today, um, I know I sound really weird, uh, I'm getting over being really sick, so, but I just wanted to make a quick video today with my, on how to set up my Doors Kit model. So, I updated a lot of stuff, I saw a lot of comments saying like, um, you know, there was bugs with it, so I went in and I got rid of, I tried to get rid of all the bugs that were in it. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set it up today. So, first things first, you're going to need to download the model in the description that has the doors kit, like the whole model with everything in it. Next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to insert it into your studio. So, this is a brand new studio. Go to Toolbox, go to this one, My Models, and insert My Doors Kit. And once you insert it into your uh, studio, you should see, you know, this you get inserted into your studio. Um, what you need to be doing, you're going to need to, uh, everything here says ungroup in the, you know, one that you need to ungroup it in. So ungroup in replicated storage, we'll put this in replicated storage and then go ahead and ungroup it. Server script service. Ungroup. Daughter character scripts. Ungroup. Starter UI. Ungroup that and workspace and then you can ungroup that and then you can delete this model so now when you hit play let me just go ahead and put this there delete this spawn location when you hit play you should see that everything gets generated and everything should be working fine so as you can see everything gets generated you can use the closets um, you can open the drawers Go to open room one. And so I made it where it's every three rooms rush comes. But um, if you uh, if you want to change it, you can go in the code. I'll show you how to change it. But I'm going to make a tutorial, you know, when my voice gets better on uh, how to make rush randomization. But for now, we'll just leave it like that. Um, this is version one <clears throat> of uh, the doors kit. There will be more versions to come when uh, when I... As the, as the series goes on, uh, I will update this with version 2, version 3, all that stuff. Um, if you want to know how to, like, add details to hallways, I can show you that right now. So, let's say you have, like, um, we'll just insert the long hallway. All you need to do, whatever detail you want to add, you can just, like, so let's say we wanted, like, a pillar, right, in the middle of this room. Like, right there or something. We'll go ahead and anchor it. Make sure it's anchored. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to insert that. You're just going to put it inside of the hallway model. And it should now get generated with the hallway. Um, if you want to change like the spawn locations for like closets or like drawers or chairs or something. All you need to do is just move these little red bricks wherever you want. And um, make sure they're in their, uh, their folders. So all the templates are in the template folder. Don't mess with the models folder. Don't mess with any folders besides the templates folder. Um, and that's just if you're like inserting more or just like moving them around. Um, closets have their own template folder. Furniture has its own template folder. Um, lights, you don't need to really mess with the lights unless you want to like move around the lights or make more lights. Um, and yeah. <clears throat> this is version number one of it. So there will, like I said, there will be, there will be more to come. Um, there will be more customization to come, but yeah, that's just basically how to set it up. I saw a lot of comments saying like, um, you know, I was inserting it and it didn't work and all this stuff. So I made this updated version of it. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for a future tutorial, please leave in the comments below. We're so, so close to 200 subscribers. Let's try to hit it by like tomorrow or something. And that's really it. If you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, hopefully my voice gets better in a couple days, in a few couple days, yeah, so I can go back to sounding how like I normally sound, but that's it, and as always, I will see you guys in the next one.